Oregon Right to Life was started uh, in the early 70s and we have grown from a, a file box <laughs> of names around the kitchen table to the largest pro-life organization in the state. Oregon Right to Life is important because human life is important. Uh, God's priority is human life and Oregon Right to Life stands for the protection of every human life from the moment of conception until natural death. It's easy to go to different things and say, yes, I'm pro-life and not really do anything about it. And that's what I really like about Oregon Right to Life is they're not only doing it themselves, but they're challenging others to do it too. They're probably uh, one of the top three most influential Right to Life organizations in the country. I, I do a lot of work around the country, familiar with what happens out there. And uh, it has been such a rewarding experience to be associated with an organization like this who has really gone out on the front lines started from the ground up and built an organization that is able to affect public policy, has an incredible education program, uh, probably one of the most respected political, actually, organizations in this state by far. They're very effective. Uh, they do their homework. They have very good relationships in the building. They're very well respected. Uh, and if people know that if uh, they're coming to visit them, uh, that they carry a message that in most cases, if you agree with them, uh, it's, it's a happy uh, interaction. Uh, they can be formidable opponents. Oregon Right to Life is so effective because uh, it, it has a way of reaching to every corner of Oregon and uh, getting people to stand up for a difficult a principle politically, but an essential principle morally. For over three decades, Oregon Right to Life has been speaking up for those who have no voice. Headquartered in Salem, Oregon, we are an affiliate of National Right to Life and have local grassroots chapters in counties throughout the state. The purpose of our educational foundation is to change hearts. Uh, we want to change laws and we, try, we are doing that, but even changing laws is only as good as people are willing to obey the law. So changing hearts is foundational. Oregon Right to Life provides its members with the many tools needed to make a difference. We offer speakers, seminars, and a variety of pro-life literature in both English and Spanish. Our yearly conference features workshops with some of the most effective pro-life leaders in the nation, and our cable access television programs are aired throughout Portland, Salem, and Eugene. Life in Oregon, our bi-monthly newsletter, reaches into 50,000 Oregon homes and includes the latest in pro-life news and information. At county fairs and public events across the state, our pro-life displays use life-size fetal development models, showing the undeniable humanity of the unborn. We have so many projects that we are so excited about. One is coming up soon, Camp Joshua, where we have teens from all around the state come to a three-day camp where we take them on field trips, bring in special speakers, really have an intense three days, uh, actually from 6 in the morning until 11 at night. Uh, some of it's fun, but most of it is real serious learning, and the kids go away excited. They have a vision for going back to their school, to their church, to their friends, wanting to help make a difference in the state of Oregon. The Oregon Right to Life Political Action Committee works tirelessly to support pro-life candidates for both state and federal office. Ballot measures are supported or opposed by our issues pack. If you don't organize politically, you don't have a political voice, you don't have a megaphone. And when Oregon Right to Life organizes, its megaphone becomes very loud and very effective. I have seen that in all of my campaigns. Their reach is not just to Republicans, not just to Democrats, not just to independents, but it reaches into every household uh, and finds people who understand that uh, there are some things worth getting involved over and fighting for. Right to Life is probably the single most important organization that has helped to elect pro-life candidates in the state. And it's the reason that we're able to get pro-life legislation through the Oregon House. And it's the reason we're able to stop bad legislation uh, at the same time. And our most wonderful program that we're so excited about is Stand Up Girl. 
this is a website that started about four years ago out of um, just one of our board members ideas and it has grown to be the most visited pro-life website on the internet. As to date we have had three million visitors. We have around six to seven thousand visitors a day that come. They spend 15 minutes average. When the webmaster looks at who is coming to the site, these are computers in schools all over the United States. The schools are now coming to us. They're coming to Stand Up Girl to do their abortion reports. Pregnant girls in unexpected pregnancies thinking about abortion come to the site. The site is developed especially to appeal to young girls. It's got prenatal development and it has a Dear Becky column where girls write in their abortion experiences. Some of them chose abortion much to their dismay and they write endlessly about the tragedies that they live, have lived with since their abortion decision. Some of those letters say, I almost had an abortion, I didn't, and they tell about their victorious, happy life with their baby. Girls read these, you know, teen girls, and, and, and reading a diary, so to speak. <laughs> and it's wonderfully uh, successful, and we believe we are making a dramatic impact in the culture through this site. Women who face untimely pregnancies can count on Oregon Right to Life for information and support. We operate a statewide resource directory of pregnancy and newborn services, offer educational resources, and donate a portion of our income to organizations assisting mothers in need. Silent No More Awareness is a national group of post-abortive women. It's a campaign that Oregon Right to Life has adopted and it is the message of love that abortion hurts, hurts, hurts women. And we want to help women who are hurting to find healing. Me being post-abortive, I reach out to the women and I can direct them to healing and in turn once they get healed they can speak and tell others. And so we are actually creating more and more people who can educate. And when you hear it from a speaker who has been there, people can really relate to a real life story. Despite the continued almost unlimited access to abortion in Oregon, statistics prove that the right to life movement is making a difference. The number of abortions is the lowest in 10 years, and over the last two years, abortion clinics in both Eugene and Portland have closed their doors. Throughout the state, the grassroots efforts of people are making a difference. That's where our hearts and minds are changed. I look at the prophet Jeremiah, and he worked for over 30 years and never had a convert. But God blessed his message, and God blessed him. And we can be sure that one day, just like slavery in the United States, it stopped. One day, abortion will stop. We will be victorious. People need to continue in the, in the fight and don't be weary. And, and it's important, it matters. Uh, don't give up, you know, stay strong, stay engaged, and you'll make a big difference. Every single year, in one fair booth or another, we will have a young girl come up and talk to a volunteer and say, uh, you know, I was here last year and I was contemplating abortion, planning to have an abortion, and I saw your baby models, I saw your literature, and I just wanted you to see my baby. I changed my mind and here's my baby. Well, I'll tell you, you hear that and, and you say, all this is worth it. I find people in that organization who understand the original promise of the Declaration of Independence uh, that promised life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, Oregon Right to Lifers know that you don't get to liberty or a pursuit of happiness if you don't stand up for life. All of us have had the, the, the privilege of being born into this world because our mothers chose life. And the Oregon Right to Lifers understand that uh, they help people change hearts and minds and votes. And ultimately that means that more of the unborn have a chance at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.